So what did you do, Blaze? <laughs> well, it's been a little while. Now we have a winch bumper. It's a fire truck. Yeah, had an old fire truck bumper laying around. Never had anything to put it on. Finally, one day, got bored enough. Uh, marked it up there, saw that it fit, so I said, screw it. We cut up the bumper off the, the mule and used that for brackets for this. Had to completely make everything from scratch. <laughs> no welding required. Yeah, no welding. We've got, I think, 20 bolts, 20 uh, half inch bolts holding everything together. Uh, and then uh, had to reroute the PTO. So I had to completely rebuild that. That, you know, once we figured it out, it wasn't terrible, but trying to figure out which way everything would go together was kind of a pain. But I think we've pretty well got it now. Pretty badass. Yep. Now you just gotta get the handle. I know, we need to get a free spool handle for it. But other than that, runs and drives good. What else? Because oh, yeah. I don't know if we. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got a door on there now. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah. Got a fuel tank now. I don't know if we. Last time? I, I don't know. know. <laughs> So, uh, this is how we had to bring it up. So, I think you last time you had it, but you didn't install it yet. Yeah. yeah so, the winch was in the bed. Mm -hmm. That was in the front. Which had to, again, build brackets, every hanger, just stuff to get the shaft to run up front. I think, what do we have, like five drive shafts on this? Yeah. Two for the PTO, one for the divorce transfer case, one for the rear axle, one for the front axle. So. But I mean, on that PTO, you replace the U joints, and then let's call it. You see it way up in there. Pretty well did it the right way. Replace the U joints, replace all the seals on the PTO. Yeah. It is a pain getting it off, but a lot of cussing them all. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, a little more progress. And again, nice thing is, I don't think we had to buy any scrap metal or anything for any of the stuff we were able to use. Yeah. We'll all hang all of the trim stuff around the shop. It's got to stop at that place down the road. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you want to take this down there? <laughs> oh, gauges all work, oh, right? Yeah. Well, we got to, I, I think, we look at the speedometer. Yeah. yeah. The gauges actually work. Only thing is the amp is showing discharge, but it's mostly charging. Still having issues, like, sit with the switch but hopefully that's all just figure out what wire yeah. goes where but uh brakes you pop the hood yeah, end up getting uh like i said got the new booster then uh put a new master cylinder on there and uh what was the deal with it why uh we swapped it for a scout one right yeah but now you do have brakes now right yeah, yeah. power steering uh <clears throat> You know, got the new gearbox on there. Well, rebuilt gearbox. And it was still leaking. Well, found out the, the hoses, there's a little bit of seal that's supposed to be on there. Put that on there. I don't think it's leaking out, right? Another thing we did a little while ago is we took the sort of the leaf springs off the one top <laughs> and put them up under this. We? No, you. Okay, fine. Right. Oh, and uh, I see again uh, the exhaust leak. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so he ended up, because uh, it wasn't sitting level, right? Yeah. So we end up adding Put some leaves. Into the driver's side. Yeah. Which helps with the weight of the bumper. Yeah. Might throw another one under the passenger side. Well, again, once you get the bed and everything yeah. on there and <clears throat> the door's on, then you we'll can figure out. But the door, still, I mean, these are kind of, I don't know, we need to hopefully find some new ones, but get it on there. He just does not like the way that latches. But it's like unless you slam it, then yeah. Right. Problem it's is, you can't the, to put the other latch on there, it's not going to line up. You'd have to drill another hole, whatever. But heaven forbid we do some application around here. Let me see, heater core's leaking, yeah. so I have to deal with that. Just bypass it, right? Yep, yeah, for now, I have to pull it back out. But you might have another one where you can take one of them in and see if we can get it. Yeah, but anything else, please? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right. Bye.